Yo, what's good guys? It's me, Chelonian VR, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a banger thumbnail, like I do in my videos, uh, through Blender. Probably gonna to wanna to have some prior knowledge about how Blender works. And um, yeah, also as you can see, here's my amazing PNG that I created. Uh, so yeah, it's a little goofy. But anyways, also guys, please like and subscribe because I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I'm literally four, I think I'm 40 subs away. So um, yeah, it would really help me a lot because that's my goal. But all right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna join my Discord. I have it, a link in the description down below. You're gonna need the player model and the map. Also, if you join, you will get the first 15, depending if you're one of the first 15, there's already three people. So the next 12 people who join, they're gonna have this uh, role. So yeah, you're just gonna be certified OG, right? But anyways, player model. So you're gonna wanna copy the link. Can't really open it, I don't know why it doesn't let you, but you just copy link, and then you paste it into the URL, which is gonna send you to here, this GitHub. Now, I wouldn't recommend clicking on this because this rig is kind of, you know, difficult to understand, unless you're like, a, unless you like understand a lot about Blender. But I like to keep it short and simple and good. So I just, you just click here and then you do download raw file, right? And boom, there it should be. This is gonna pop up. You can just click away because it's useless. And then um, after that, you're gonna wanna go back to the Discord because you already have this download. You're gonna go to the map uh, and you're just gonna do the same thing, copy link, and it's gonna take you to my Google Slides. Then you're gonna open up this um, drive that's gonna you know, give you the um, download for it. And it's gonna say, Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses. Don't worry, it's not a virus, all right? It's not a virus. I've already downloaded this like a bunch of times. Here's the folder right here. You know, very simple. So you can just close those because you won't need it anymore. And you're just gonna wanna open up Blender now, since this is an old rig model, you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure your Blender is in 4.1 version. So uh, yeah, just just make sure that's in 4.1 version, or else, you know, it's not really gonna work too well for you. But anyways, you're gonna go to File and then Open, and then you're gonna want to do the um, one that you downloaded. Now look, here's an example of the latest one. Like, look, this opens makes no sense at least not to me because i'm a little stupid but anyways this is what you're gonna see and um if you guys want to know how to change the name you're gonna click on this you're gonna press tab and then you'll be able to write so i can just write chelonian right and then if you want to if if you want to exit out of that you go to go to edit mode and then object mode and click away so here's where we're just gonna you know kind of set up the model to make sure it's ready so you're gonna wanna click on this to make it so there's shading. Then you're gonna wanna scroll and find the sun, right? I mean, you, you could just drag it over. You don't have to, but you can if you want to because it can just depict where the shadow's coming from, as you can see. Here it says data of the sun. So I usually turn it up to around eight strength and then I go down to the shadow here and I, press um, contact shadows and then you're gonna want to go to render screen space reflections and then refraction now this is what this is what's gonna make it seem more gorilla taggy because look you can actually see the edges which is shown in the game of course if you want to change the um, color of the monkey then you click on it and then you go to the material primary color and you can just change it you know you can just change it to whatever uh this is what i usually change it to because that's kind of the color in my game or in the game then you're going to want to go back to file and then you're going to want to go to append right here is you should have you should have your gorilla tag maps volcano october 2023 right you're just going to want to double click that and then you should be here i should i know you guys are probably going to be confused but then you're gonna wanna click on collection. And then forest, I usually just search forest. It's just gonna be forest, all right? Just forest. And it's gonna take some time to load, might freeze your game a little, because look at the amount of stuff there. Um, now this might be a little bit overwhelming for you guys, but don't worry. 
because you just have to kind of clear some things up here you know here here's what here's what's actually making it so like like weird looking so there's a volcano forest halloween 2022 forest the winter so look it right now looks like a mess but you're just going to want to click off the check marks until you get to summer so boom forest summer and it's looking good you know it looks it looks like the normal forest map all right so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag them I'm going to press 7 to go into top view and then you're just going to want to drag them to the map and boom there you go your gorilla your gorilla tag model is right here just chilling right there I'm going to go to the sun which is right here I'm just going to bring it closer because you know shading can actually make a huge difference in the way your thing in the way the thumbnail looks so what i usually like to do is kind of make it like that so something where like the shadow and the light hit the player at the same time i think that makes a really big difference so yeah now is where you're going to go to you're just gonna you see this little like circle going around see this little circle you're gonna want to click on it and then you're gonna go up here and go to pose mode. Now, this is what's gonna let you pose it, you know, make it all. So what I usually like to do is I like to turn this on. So see how it's gray right now? You're gonna wanna make that blue. And um, you're, that's gonna make it so it's like, you know, at like both of them, right? So it's like mirroring off each other. And then you, there's this little arrow here. You can just open that. Go to um wait no, no no not that there's a little thing right here that you can just open up and then rotate you can rotate the hands that you're liking here's your little goofy little guy i can make his neck super dumb looking <laughs> you know this might actually be my uh thumbnail for this video so if you see this and you're like what the heck is this thumbnail this is it now you see this right here this is the cursor you're just you're just going to want to click on the character right and they're going to do shift a so you're going to want to do that make sure you're out of the pose mode and so then you're just going to press shift a right and it's going to show up this and then you're going to want to do camera and you can kind of just move it a little now, if you just do it manually like this, it's going to suck and it's going to like take forever. So what I do is I press view right here. I first I press this to go into it and then camera to view. So then you moving around is actually like the camera, right? So there you go. That I think that's good for me. So I'm going to click out and then I can move my cursor and that's that. All right. Once you guys have it all laid out, you might be wondering, okay, well, how do I actually export the image? Because, you know, right now it looks kind of stupid. You know, you, you have these square boxes everywhere and it doesn't look neat. Well, here's how you do it, all right? I'm gonna bring this menu back up. So you're gonna go to output and then you're going to want to click where that output's gonna go into, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it, um, my Gorilla Tech thumbnails, because this is where all my thumbnails go, except, and then from FFMPEG video, you're gonna wanna make that a PNG or a JPEG. I just make a PNG, because it takes up less, you know, space. And then you're gonna do RGBA and 16. And then that's all, right? That's, that's all. And then you're gonna go to render. Now don't do render image, you're gonna wanna do render animation and you're gonna wanna close out as fast as possible because it's like, it's literally gonna start screenshotting a bunch, right? It's just gonna start screenshotting a bunch. So let me just put it on for like five seconds or no, like three seconds and show you how many pictures it actually takes. One, two, three. So now let me show you how many pictures it actually took. It's a like five, a total of five, right? We don't need all those. So I just have one. And then you're gonna want to go to Photopia. You can just search up photopia.com and it'll take you here. 
and then you'll don't do open from computer do new project and then YouTube thumbnail and you're just gonna do create then what you're gonna want to do is you can just drag this into there oh well it's a little there okay there you go so now this is pretty sick now okay so text here's what my text is gonna be how to make thumbnails something like that right so I'm just gonna double click it make it white and then my favorite thing to do my favorite font is luckiest guy that's the that's the literal best ever that's what every youtuber does and then I'm just gonna turn the size to a fittable like a normal good size so like that make sure you guys have transform controls on if you want to change the size of your text so I mean this is a little too big so I'm just gonna make it epic thumbnail let's just do that all right that's that'll, that'll be the that'll be that all right so boom there's there's that now you might want to know how to make a shadow or add stroke to it well here's how you do that you go to the epic you go to the little layers down here you're gonna want to um you're gonna want to wait what's my lefts and rights okay wait you're gonna want to right click and go to blending options and then this little menu should pop up now what i always like to do is i like to do drop shadow and stroke look you guys can you guys can experiment with all of them right you can do whatever but i usually like either drop shadow and stroke or sh um drop shadow and outer glow because look at look at that effect makes it much nicer if you're trying to go for a vibrant thumbnail so you know i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and you might be still you might still be thinking wait this is so bland this sucks well here's actually the trick to it all i want to make sure this is selected and you're gonna want to go to image adjustments brightness and contrast are you gonna want to go like that and like that now look don't overdo it at all because you know it's not gonna end up looking good but just like try and find an even balance you know you're gonna want an even balance that makes it look both like kind of good and like cinematic in a way and then if this isn't enough you can kind of um you can kind of just like you know you can always mess around with the filters and stuff so what i did is i used dither rgb 4x 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 you know it doesn't really look that good but maybe it's because the outer glow so boom there you have it you know mess around with this a little then you're just gonna want to go export file export as and then uh, jpg and then boom there you have it you should have your thumbnail i hope you guys enjoyed you know like and subscribe please for more content if you want and also it helps me come on man but you don't have to i'm not gonna force anybody but yeah if you guys want to know how to actually add faces onto your gorilla tag model uh comment down below if you actually want that and um yeah Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you later. Peace.